Hi there, my name is Nicole Stamp, and I play Melanita in season three of Carmilla. And my name is Caitlin Alexander, and I play LaFontaine in season three of Carmilla. Yay! Yeah! I actually locked myself in a library, like the, the Toronto Reference Library. Just to feel? Like from the morning to the night, just to know what it would feel like How if feel? I was actually stuck in the library. What did it feel like? Um, it was really stuffy, the air was gross, and I had memorized the layout of the library by the end of the day, which was actually really helpful for mm. her laugh. It's a live volcano! Five is a live volcano! Oh, uh, oh, but I do have this really cool one, okay? Two up, two down, cyberpunk dystopia. Um, I think my favorite prop this season is not a prop at all. I think it's a piece of wardrobe. I like my wardrobe this season. Cool. Uh, but I have these jeans that are really comfy. And actually, Jessica, our wardrobe designer, said that you suggested them, um, the brand. And they're great. They're, like, super comfy. Oh, yeah. So yeah, they're, like, the best. That's what I'm wearing, oh, too. They're the best. Yeah. So my favorite prop is my clipboard because it says what I'm thinking while I'm, while I'm filming. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Like, you're going to look back at it and have Like, I don't ever want to look at it because I'm pretty sure I wrote butts on it for one scene. Why butts? I was thinking about butts. Whose butts? My own. Season season three in three words. Hectic, adventure, fun times. Butts, butts, butts. <laughs> I've read a little bit of criticism that sometimes Mel could seem that she's bitchy, which is a word, it's not a sentiment that bothers me, it's a word I don't really like. I kind of do my best to avoid using language that is specific to one particular group of people. So I don't really like gendered insults. I don't really like racialized language. I just try to, I don't really like ableist language. So there's like lots of terms that if you kind of unpack what they mean, they're derogatory towards a group of people. Characteristics that in a different gender might not be called bitchy, get called bitchy when a woman does them. Um, maybe she's being assertive, maybe she's being clear, maybe she's being direct, maybe she's being peevish. Um, but those have less of a judgment of what the person's character mm -hmm. is than bitchy, right? Bitchy sounds like it's about who that person is, whereas peevish sounds like a mood they had that day. So I don't think Mel is bitchy. Um, I don't think Laugh ever gives up on Perry because they literally don't know how to give up. And if you're watching the season, there's a couple moments where Laugh mentions their family and you realize that their family kind of just gave up on them and everybody in Laugh's life has pretty much given up on them but one person who never has is Perry. She's always come back, she's always fought for them so Laugh just doesn't know how to give up on her because if they give up on Perry, what do they have left? Here's the thing, I don't think Laugh actually uses sarcasm as a defense mechanism. I think that they just don't know how to express what they're feeling in any way other than like complete bluntness, which might come across as sarcasm, but I don't think they know what they're doing as sarcasm. I think they're trying to communicate what they're feeling in the most efficient way possible, and sometimes that comes out as sarcastic, but I don't think they do it on purpose. I think if they're funny, they have no idea that they're funny. Like they're just being the most serious person about what they're saying, and if somebody else finds it funny, then like, Surprise, because I was being honest. Okay, I when I read the scripts, there's this one scene yeah. where something happens to you, yeah. and I was like, how are they going to do that? Do you want to see the makeup? Yes, I do. Oh, my God. That's... Oh, <laughs> my God. That's intense. Yeah. So I've been and will continue to be Caitlin Alexander, and I play Laugh on Zane. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for watching. My name is Nicole Stamp, and I play Melanie Pacalis, and I'm so glad you watched. Thank you so much. Enjoy season three. What she said. <laughs>